Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Enhance your payment processing capabilities on Shopify in 2023 by integrating InstaMojo. This comprehensive tutorial will guide you through the process of connecting InstaMojo with Shopify in 2023, enabling secure and efficient transaction for your online store. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So obviously guys, the first thing which is heading up to your Shopify store by going to Shopify and then logging in into your account. As simple as that. And then here we have to choose a store from our store. So let's choose this one. And there we go. Next is simply the same thing but with InstaMojo. So InstaMojo, just go ahead and click into sign up or login so you can do the same thing and create your own website on it or store. So let's sign up with Google, then let's choose our account and there we go. So it has been created. Now you should either verify your account with your number or with true color. So for now I'm just going to keep it with number. And as you can see now guys, I have managed to skip the process of the number. I have put a number from India, I received the number and then I put the OTP code. So now let's give a name of our store. So Titan LCD as an example. <coughs> Add social links. Uh, let's click on next first and then wait until it gives us this page. Let's keep it all at like that so let's give it some example as optional 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 we can go to the next one as i see here what are you selling let's choose random things so physical product digital product services and like that then click on next uh we can choose here electronics and entertainment the next and for the the store link will be something like that create store and just like that we have created our store on insta mojo so here it is for now i'm going to just skip skip it as you can see as you can see now so for this is the page and this is how it looks like so in case we wanted to add any app or something like that we can either go through shopify and go to the add app section which is on the left side menu and then clicking on shopify app store like that you will be able to see this app marketplace the next thing to do is to search for insta mojo and try to find it but this is not the case anymore so let's do the same thing with insta mojo by going to here and finding the app store we will find all of these apps so most of them are free and yeah there is no shopify here as well so what should we do so here if we clicked on this one that one uh, we can't really find them and if we clicked on shopify insta mojo Shopify integration with InstaMojo Payment Getaway. here as you can see they do allow integration with InstaMojo Payment Getaway. so they only allow you to get the access for InstaMojo Getaway but in case you want to explore it more and know how to integrate with InstaMojo well it is very hard so first of all if you have more than 10 products and have customers who buy more than one product at a time you should ideally use any one of the plugins which we support or integrate our API in case you have built a custom card if you want to have complete control over the payment flow and if the pricing of your products and services varies from the time to the time this implies if your products or service needs to be dynamically priced then you should integrate our API if you want to a title and seamless integration want to optimize the number of steps and clicks which are required to complete the payment then you have to integrate buzzword so here they're not giving us much information and kind of wasting our time so what should we do in case we wanted to literally just get ahead and integrate these two apps together well you can't really integrate them both together but what you can do is integrate one with another app and integrate on the other with the same app and this app will be like a third party app that will integrate them uh, together and make them work at the same time with each other so the app is called zapier 
Zapier is an app that will literally make the world easier for you. It will help you connect any kind of apps together at the same time. So simply first you have to search for Shopify which is already in my apps location. So how you can find this application is just by going to the apps on the left side menu. You will find apps right here and click on it and search for Shopify. After you click on Shopify make sure to add connection and make sure to test the connection that you have made. If it is working it will show you that it is working. So for me it is not working that means i have to reconnect to my shopify store as you might see here just give it some time they will give me this link all i have to do is copy this code and paste it right over here and continue to shopify and there we have it so we have connected to our shopify store just install the app and then wait for it until it is installed and then let test the connection and it has been tested successfully for this one it will not work now let's do the same thing but with instamojo so instamojo cannot be found sometimes on or it might not be even on the apps on your zapier but here as you can see it is existing for me so i'm just going to connect and i'm going to use my account simply like that so let's give it some time authorize you can read all of this uh, authorization access that you will get as you can see let's test it out so let me just test it again and it has been tested successfully so now all we need to do is create a zap which is simply a prompt so you can say when x happens do y then do z so when i add a product for example on insta mojo add the same product with the same details to Shopify and the same in reverse so I'll generate and now once I create a product on Instamojo it will be added with its own details to Shopify at the same time that I'm creating the product itself so now let's give it some time until it makes it work for us and there you have it this is the problem that we need so now all you need to do is click on try it out and then make sure to connect to all of these products. So you have to connect to all of these products that they have showed you. Make sure to create an account on all of these. Make sure to add your account here, out account here and account here. And then make sure once you have that of that to turn this on and publish it and your prompt show be working for you without any problem so yeah guys this is how you can connect insta mojo with your shopify store without having any problem uh without paying any fees without doing anything so thank you guys a lot for watching i hope you learned something from this video if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section i will make sure to answer all of your questions one by one thanks a lot guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial